Hey, what's going on, guys? Lego Kid here, and today we're taking a look at set number 60385 and also called the Lego City Construction Digger. Now, this set retails for $20 in the US. This set also contains 148 pieces and along with two minifigures. So, let's go ahead and begin the set review by taking a closer look at the minifigs. So here are the two minifigures and both of them are construction workers. So here they both have the same exact torso print which has been used in past city sets before and nothing's new here about the leg printing and both of them do have only one facial expression and one of them does have a hard hat and the other one has a dual molded hard hat so these minifigures aren't anything special. So here's the first build and I would assume this is meant to represent like a old bench or something. So at the top we have four of these printed plank pieces which you can easily take off by pressing down in the middle and that will cause all of them to fall off. And there's also these bricks as well which you can easily take off. So it's a pretty basic build but I do like the setup here seeing as how this is a construction site related Lego set. So that's it for the first build. And next up we have a build for a newly constructed solar powered bench here. And on it, there are two seats where you can see two minifigures. And there's also a place where you can charge your phone. And there's also a charging cord with it. I think this is a new phone accessory piece. I could be wrong. But either way, I like the build for the bench here. And you can basically place it on the green plate where the old bench was. So here's the build for the construction digger. So at the front, there is a feature where you can lift the bucket up and down. And you can also adjust the angle of the bucket too. And if you want to, you can replace the bucket and put on the fork that also comes in the set. And you can use it to move around the bench and put it on the green base plate. And for the build of the digger here, it has a yellow school bus color scheme to it, along with some blue. Never seen that used before with a construction vehicle, but it still looks good. Inside, you can see one minifigure. There's also some controls and a steering wheel. There's also the use of a Super Mario piece for the roof. And at the back, there is a boom arm with a drill on it, so you can drill the bench apart. And at the back, there's also some clips where you can put some minifigure accessories. And there's also a witch hook for a trailer of some sort. Um, that's it for the build of the construction digger. And here's basically the setup of how all of this is supposed to go into play. So first off, you use the driller to take apart the old bench. It's going to move all of the pieces off to the side. And then you replace the bucket with the fork and also put the new bench on there. And you can use that to drive the new bench up to the plate. And you can set it down on the studs here. And just like that, you have a new bench in the park that everybody will want to sit on. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the build. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. For the box art, we have the typical $20 LEGO City box style. At the front, here's all the set information. And at the back, we have some more action shots for the set. And for the instruction booklet, there's only one booklet for this entire set, which is great. So at the back, there's an advertisement for some of the other LEGO City sets. And there's also a list of all the bricks and pieces listed. So overall, I would say this set is actually a pretty good one to get, and for the price of this set being $20 with 148 pieces, that's actually a pretty good price to piece ratio right there. So yeah, not at all a bad set to get in terms of price. Um, I like the build for the construction digger, and I also like the builds making up this nice setup for a construction work-like zone here. And we don't really get too many construction sets anymore in LEGO City, except for some like separate builds and other sets. But either way, this is a great set to get for a kid who's gained more into LEGO, or who's more of a fan for the um, construction sub-theme of LEGO City sets and such. So anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, if you guys like it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also stay tuned for more videos to come in the future. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.